Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. My tech tip today is about Minecraft, so this is for all you Minecraft players out there. So if you've ever tried to build something very large in creative mode, uh, it can take a lot of patience and it can take a lot of time. Uh, now if you use mods and you have um, world edit installed, you can use that to fill in large areas of your world with blocks pretty easily, but if you're playing vanilla Minecraft and you're trying to build a large structure, uh, it can take a lot of time to lay out all the blocks. But luckily, there is a fill command included with Minecraft that basically lets you fill a certain area of space in a world with different types of blocks. So we're gonna take a look at how the fill command is used in Minecraft. And before we do that, I wanna quickly switch over to this piece of digital graph paper to talk a little bit about how the fill command works. So let's pretend we're looking at a Minecraft world from the top down. Now I've got an ultra flat world opened that we're gonna experiment with, but if you were using a regular world, it wouldn't make a difference. Um, so let's say this is a top down view of a Minecraft world. Minecraft is broken up into blocks, and each block has a coordinate um, that's made up of three numbers, an X, Y, and Z value. Now, if we were looking at the top down and we wanted to fill a 10 by 10 space with blocks, we would need to know the coordinate of the first block, and then we would need to know the coordinate of the opposite corner, and then we would know uh, how we would have to fill our space. So let's just say, for example, this block is one by one by one. We would know that going this direction would be, uh, if we moved all the way down here, it would be 10. So we're filling from one to 10 in this direction. We're filling from one to 10 in this direction. And if we wanted to make it 10 blocks high, the third value would also be 10, which would basically fill in a space like this with blocks and then we would basically have a 10 by 10 by 10 house. You could change those numbers if you wanted to make it 10 by 20. You would need to know the coordinate of this block. Let's say this was 111. We would know we would need to go 20 blocks in this direction, 10 blocks in this direction, and then however high we wanted it to be. So that's basically how the fill command works. You need to figure out what area you want to fill, the coordinates of the blocks at either corner, and then it's a piece of cake. So let's take a look at how that works in the Minecraft world. So in order to figure out the coordinates of the blocks I want to fill in, I'm just going to, for argument's sake, start that one of my corners of my building is going to be over here. I'm going to hit F3 on my keyboard, and that's going to bring up all of this information. And the, uh, the key piece of information that we need is this right here that says looking at block, and it gives us three numbers. So our first number is... Uh, 104, 3, negative 61. And all that is is the coordinate in the X, Y, and Z plane of where this specific block that I'm looking at is in the world. So, okay, so I need 104, 3, and negative 61. And when I use the fill command, I typically keep a little note card or a post-it handy so I can jot down these coordinates because I'm terrible at remembering them. So I've got 104, 3, 61. Now, if I move this direction, see how the, the first number now increases? So if I wanted our building to start here and then go 10 blocks in this direction, I know that the second set of numbers I need needs to be 114 because 104 plus 10 is 114. You'll notice as I go this way, that number increases. Now, if I go this way, the last number, the third number decreases. So if I wanna go 10 blocks in this direction, I need to take negative 61 and subtract 10, which is gonna be negative 71. And the only number I need in addition to this is how tall I want this building to be. That's the middle number. That's the three. We have to figure out how uh, tall we want this to be. So again, let's do 10 blocks. We do 10 by 10 by 10. So if we're starting at three, we add 10 to that. We know that our ending coordinate is going to be 13. So I have the coordinates for the first block in the bottom left corner. And then I have the coordinates for the opposite corner. Um, and that's all we should need to make this work. So let's go ahead and use the fill command. I'm gonna turn, uh, turn all my coordinates off. So to use that, we need to obviously have cheats enabled, and we're gonna use fill, and then we're gonna put in the first number. So that was 104, three, negative 61. If you notice, it also auto wanted to autofill those numbers because that's the block that I'm already looking at. And now I want to put in the second set of numbers, 114, 13, negative 71. Now I have to tell Minecraft which block I want to use. So you type in Minecraft colon, and then we can start to type in a type of block. So I'm going to use brick, and I'm just going to hit the tab key to cycle through that. So I want Minecraft bricks. And now we have to tell Minecraft how we want to fill in. There's five different ways to fill, which we'll look at in a little bit more detail in a moment. Um, <clears throat> but right now we're going to leave it on destroy. 
So I'm filling from one set of coordinates to another set of coordinates with bricks, and we're using destroy, which would mean it would destroy any blocks that were already there. I hit enter, and lo and behold, we have a 10 by 10 by 10 cube of bricks. So if I break into this, you'll see that this is entirely solid, okay? So let's do that again. I'm gonna move over here to another spot and just quickly clear my inventory. And we're gonna do that again. So I'm gonna hit F3. I'm gonna get my first set of coordinates, which is, I'm gonna jot these down, 128, three, and negative 59. And once again, if I move this direction, that first number goes up and we'll do 10 by 10 by 10 again. So if our first number is 128 and we want to uh, fill 10 blocks in, the, in this direction to the right, then we know that we need to go to 138. Uh, we know that we want to go 10 blocks high. So our second number could be 13. And then finally, we're looking at negative 59 and we're going this direction. So we'll end up again at negative 69. All right, and so let's use our fill command to fill that in. So fill 128, three, negative 59, 138, 13, negative 69. We're going to use brick again. Oh, I have to spell Minecraft properly. So we'll use brick. And then I'm going to use hollow in this case. So I hit enter. And now I filled in a 10 by 10 by 10 cube, although this time when I break into it, it is completely hollow. So using the hollow uh, command is a really, really great way for building a building or a house or some kind of structure like that incredibly quickly. And then if I wanted to change any of the style of the house or anything, I could just break the bricks and fill it in with something else. So I'm gonna quickly switch over to the Minecraft wiki. Um, and we're gonna take a look at those five different modes that we can use for the fill command. So destroy replaces all blocks, including air, with the block that you choose. So basically it makes a cube that's filled entirely with those blocks. Hollow basically only fills the outer edge and any blocks that exist inside of hollow, uh, inside of that cube, become air. So if we were to, let's say, go up to the side of a mountain and make a house that's kind of built into the side of the mountain and that fill command kind of cuts into the mountain a bit, it would basically turn any of those mountain blocks inside of our fill area to air. Uh, keep only replaces air blocks. So for example, if we had uneven ground and we wanted to build a house around that, the fill command would only work for blocks that are air. It wouldn't touch any of the pre-existing blocks. Outline works kind of like hollow, where it makes just uh, the outer shell of the fill you're trying to create. However, it doesn't replace the blocks on the inside with air. So if you wanted to, let's say, build a house around a tree, you could use the, uh, the outline um, mode for the fill command, and you could basically build a house around the tree, whereas if you used hollow, it would replace the blocks of the tree with air. And then replace, replaces all the blocks, including air, in the fill region with specified block without dropping blocks or block contents as entities. So basically, the destroy mode gets rid of any pre-existing blocks and drops them as entities that you can then pick up. Uh, replace just switches them out with the other block. So it's kind of similar to destroy, it just doesn't drop anything. So that's how the fill command works. Um, it's a little tricky to get used to using the coordinate system and making sure you're filling the right areas. I definitely suggest setting up an ultra flat world and just playing with it a little bit and experimenting. Definitely have a little like note card or a post-it or a notepad nearby so you can jot down those coordinate numbers when you use F3. Um, it's definitely gonna make it easier, but play with it a little bit because you don't wanna be working on a project and then use the fill command and accidentally fill in an incorrect area and destroy part of your build. So play with it a little bit in a uh, ultra flat world and figure out its nuances and how it works. The other thing as well is um, if you fill a huge area with blocks, it may crash the world. I've had that happen in our um, private DAE server where we were playing with a group of people and I used a fill command and tried to fill too large an area and it crashed the server. Um, if you do need to fill a very large area, you can um, do it in sections and that way it won't overload the server. So that's just something you wanna keep in mind. 
So that's all I've got for you today. Thanks so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful. As always, hit the subscribe button. We release new tech tips every weekday at noon, as well as two live stream projects every weekday at 10 and 2. And check out the DAE.com for our schedule of online workshops, collaborative gaming sessions. And you can also book a private lesson with us in any topic you'd like, uh, whether you're a, a kid or an adult, whether you're a beginner or an expert. We can give you a private lesson in, in anything from using the fill command in Minecraft to how to model uh, with CAD software. Um, so definitely get in touch if you have any questions about that. And if you have an idea for a tech tip you'd like to see me do, throw it in the comments and I'll do my best. Thanks so much and have a great day.